Uh, this is just a game changer for uh, the city of Sault Ste. Marie. I'm so pleased. Uh, you know my background. Um, I was on the Arts and Cultural uh, Committee. I really tried to elevate that while I was a city councillor. I know the importance of it to the community. I was also on the Doctor Recruitment Committee. I know how important arts and uh, culture are to uh, recruiting doctors. I know how important it is to recruiting businesses, entrepreneurship, keeping people here, and just the overall quality of life of the beauty of the music is just awesome. Um, you know, in 2016, right after I was elected, this was one of my first announcements that I was proud to support that I really pushed for, that was $2.1 million to repurpose this old St. Mary's paper site because we know that, you know, people were um, in the community were, were, were always like, what's going to go on down there? What's happening? You know, it's been, it's been empty for years and years and years. So we set forward to change it. And um, working with Algoma Conservatory, uh, we were able to do that and repurpose this gorgeous building. And so I am so pleased now in 2019 that we're uh, investing in the second phase and is creating this gorgeous musical space. And you just heard Riley uh, perform here. The music was breathtaking. Um, and we've heard from uh, Mr. Nori from Trouble Charger that um, he also has uh, invested and donated some money in here, uh, which is going to link into the mill market uh, area as well for concerts. Uh, the recording studio will attract people from all over. I mean, we have uh, 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 some of the equipment that uh, Snoop Dogg, uh, Jay-Z, Justin Timberlake use. So you know it's going to be of the highest quality equipment that will be uh, used here. Well, we were, we were tremendously excited when, when that additional funding came, came forth. We, we had the funding that was necessary to, to complete the basic, the basic project. And, and, but now this gives us the additional funds that we need to, to, to purchase the additional recording equipment that's going to make it state-of-the-art art facility. And, and certainly brings us much closer to our, our total fundraising goal, which is, is required to complete the project. And, and so we're, we're able to just to fully move forward with, with phase two of the project.